Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at a functionality that was introduced in SketchUp 2025 called Apply Tags to Scenes. I'm going to walk you through this and show you step by step how this tool works. If you're using 2024 or an earlier version, you're not going to see this in there. It is in 2025 and forward, so I'm just cutting that off. So if you're in there saying, does this work in 2018? No. 2025 and forward, I'm sorry. We, we just, hard as we try, we can't make features available before the code is written. So we're going to hop in and take a look at this and see why it's a great feature and how you might use it right now. All right, so I have a pretty simple model right here. Um, I got an A, I got a B, I got a C. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these and I'm going to put them on, each on their own tag. So I'm just going to make a couple of... Uh, I'm going to make an A tag. I'm going to make a B tag. You guys will never guess I'm going to name the last one. The L tag. I'm kidding. It's the C tag. All right. And then I'm just going to take each of them and apply them to their own tag. So A is going to go on to A tag. B is going to go on to B tag. And C is going to go on to the L tag. All right, so why would I do this? Well, this is going to give me control, visibility, that sort of thing. I could create scenes off of this, that sort of thing. In this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to file and save this. And then this geometry I'm going to import into a different model. So this, this file is called tag export. And we're going to look at the other file I have open. I call this one base model. And it's got a D, an E, and an F. And no big surprise, these are all on the appropriately named uh, tag. So here I have a D tag, an E tag, and an F tag. And I can toggle those on and off. So let's say we want to take that and we want to apply these tags to scenes. So I want a, a quick way to just hit one button and then E and F go away. And then another button where E shows up and D and F go away. The third button that I click on and F shows up and everything else disappears. Let's do that real quick. Scenes, this is a great way to make working scenes that only show what you need visible at a certain time. So I'm going to turn on only visible tags. I'm going to turn off ENF. I'm going to hit plus, And I'm going to call this, so I can remember it, scene D. Enter. All right. Now I'm going to turn off D, turn on E, plus. I'm going to call this one scene E. And since you guys are so smart, you already know where I'm going with this. I'm going to take my F tag plus and scene F. All right, so now that I did that, I have these buttons here, which I can just quickly switch between uh, the different tags. I don't have to go click turn two on and then one back, or turn one on and then two back off every time. Uh, this is just a quick button click. And the nice thing is since I only save visible tags, I can spin around here, I can be moving, uh, I could be zooming. It doesn't matter, I can do anything I want here, and it doesn't matter where I look from, I can just swap those out. It's just visibility. All right, so that's great. So now let's go back in here and let's go to File and Import, and I'm gonna import that file I was just working on. So here's my A, B, and C, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them right there. When you import a geometry from an existing model, everything from that existing SketchUp model is dropped into a single container, so this is a single group. I'm just going to right click and explode that. And now I have A, B, C in here with my D, E, F. And you'll notice tag A, A tag B, tag C tag all came in with that import. So this is just how I'd expect it. Now, since the beginning of SketchUp, when you do this, something happens when you go through here to look at your scene. So if I click on my E scene, D and F disappear, but these newly imported items and their newly imported tags did not disappear. They're still here. Same if F, D, doesn't matter which one I click on, they're gonna show up the same. This is how it used to be. This is this is how it came in. If you're running 20, 2024 or earlier, this is how it will behave. But with this new command that we have, we can update this fairly quickly and easily. So what I used to have to do to update this would be come in here manually turn off the tags I don't want, go to each scene then, hit update, and then go to the next scene, turn off the tags I don't want, hit update, go to the next scene, turn off the tags I don't want, and hit update. 
Not terrible, not like a mind numbing process, but this is a pretty simple version, right? Because I have three scenes and three extra tags. So it would take me about, you know, a dozen clicks or so, something like that. Now imagine if the model you imported had 36 different tags and they were all interspersed, mixed through your tags on your base model. It takes some time. So we have a simple way to do this now. So what I can do is I can come in here and turn off and select the tags that I want to change. So I want to change the status of these tags to off for all of these scenes. So I'm going to select all three tags. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select all three scenes, right click and say apply tags to scenes. This is saying apply the status of these three tags to these three scenes. So when I hit apply tags to scenes, now, if I click through D, E, F, you see A, B, and C aren't anywhere at all because I told all three scenes at the same time don't have these tags on. So this is a huge time saver. This, especially if you, one, the thing that trips me up, I do this all the time, is I will go in, I will be modeling my model, I will create my scenes, it's great, and then I'll go in and do some more modeling and create a new tag not thinking about the fact that the tag I just created is now on all of my scenes. Fortunately, it's not a big deal anymore because I can select that tag, I can select all scenes, and I can right click hit that, and boom, that tag is now gone from all my scenes. I don't have any extra stuff. So a great, great tool, uh, nice functionality, especially if you do importing or if you do like I do and don't always leave scene creation to the very end. Uh, sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you get excited and you want to you wanna do it. Uh, or you might have tags like this, which are view tags. Um, I'm sorry, view scenes. And that doesn't make sense to leave those off because you want to use them while you're modeling. So check it out. Right click, apply tags to scenes. So it is a fun, not fun, it's very useful. Probably not a fun. It's, 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 it's utilitarian, but it is a good tool to have. It's a very, it makes it very easy to go in and update that stuff. It's like I said, it was a kind of a manual process, a lot of click, 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 that kind of thing. But this is definitely a nice way to uh, update those scenes if they're imported or created, or update those tags if they're imported or created after the scenes. Uh, if you like that video, click that item, like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every weekend to be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Have you used this yet? Um, do you have specific questions about this? Is there a workflow that you could see this working in? Let us know about that. Or if you have a different idea for a video, let us know that one too. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.